smoothing it all out. But since the timber is wet, or as it's known, green oak, it keeps on clogging up the planer. So I said I'd come on the way home and pull out this old Stanley number four and a half, and I give the iron a quick sharp to turn our dry stone into a wet stone, and basically just sharpen it up to 8,000 grit freehand, clean off. So it's cutting away grand now, time to head right back to the yard. So we're back here in the yard now, and the plane is just cutting through the oak, giving us nice clean shavings. The wood is very wet, but the plane is allowing them to come right up through it and just thrown to the side. So there we have it lads, this is the oak post straight off the sawmill, whereas this is the one that we've just finished planing by hand, you can see it's nice and smooth, and it brings out the rays, which are them kind of slightly darker lines, they're what's used to transfer nutrients and water throughout the tree. All trees have these rays, they just don't show up, like in this Douglas fir here, they're invisible, whereas in oak, they're specifically very visible.